Autumn Ballet stamped herself as an exciting filly to follow for the spring after her tough win in the Group 2 Silver Shadow Stakes last weekend for owner Nick Bass and Connections. Her first up record is pretty impressive as she also won the Group 3 Black Opal on debut last preparation. This weekend the action takes place at Rosehill Gardens and Le Vampire will look to add the Group 3 up and coming stakes to his name with Tim Clark in the saddle. How has he come on from his maiden win a fortnight ago at Warwick Farm? Les Vampire's come through his run in really good shape. I think he's shown nice improvement off the back of his uh, maiden win at Warwick Farm. It looks to be a nice natural progression for him, even though he's stepping up in grade here. He's ready to take that next step. Uh, the slight step up in trips are ideal for him, but certainly a, a nice progressive horse that's ready to uh, continue running well for us. You have three runners in the Group 3 San Domenico Stakes. Butch Cassidy and introducing for James Harron and Connections and the instructor for First Light Racing. Talk us through their chances in the 1100 metre contest. Uh, Butch Cassidy is obviously first up this preparation. Uh, I feel he's only going to continue to improve uh, with the run uh, and potentially as he continues to get over a little bit further this campaign. Uh, but he's drawn really well to get a nice run in the race. Uh, so certainly expect him to be strong late. Uh, introducing was excellent there first up. Uh, I love how strong he was through the line. Uh, even after being headed at the furlong, he dug deep and, and really um, really fought back to, to finish second in the race. So he's open to good improvement. Uh, as similarly as the instructor, uh, I feel he's probably a little bit better placed under the weight scale here. Um, he may have just peaked on his run there first up. Uh, no doubt he should strip fitter for that um, and also be another one that will continue to show uh, good improvement. Vernelli will go second up in the benchmark 100 handicap over 1400 metres. Are you confident he can fight out the finish over this longer distance for first light racing and connections? Uh, Brunelli is obviously coming uh, through a, a disappointing performance there last start, but I've got no doubt he can bounce back for us. Uh, physically, he just looks uh, too well going into the race. Uh, his work's been, uh, his work's certainly been uh, right up to the mark to see him be competitive. Uh, he did have his excuses there last start, uh, and he does get a, a slight gear change that I think will help him be, be very effective. That the addition of the tongue tie will no doubt. Uh, I think help his cause there on, on Saturday. Uh, but I think he'd be forgiven that last start. 1,400 metres is more to his liking uh, and certainly in good shape. Too Much Caviar put in a very nice trial performance ahead of his second run this campaign in the benchmark 78 handicap over 2,000 metres. This son of All Too Hard will jump from barrier three with Regan Bayless in the saddle. Are you happy with him ahead of Saturday's race? Uh, very pleased with Too Much Caviar going into Saturday's race. Um, he's had a nice trial just to keep him up to the mark. He's certainly very fit at this point in his preparation. Uh, right at his peak, I would say, and um, for the first time, really get to see him under the under the right conditions um, and certainly the right distance range of what he's been looking for. So um, he's in good order uh, and feel he run to be very competitive for us. How good are you is yet to finish outside of the placings this preparation and she is looking for her third career win in the Phillies and Mares benchmark 78 handicap over 1500 metres. Tim Clark will jump from barrier nine. Are you confident she can add another win to her name? How good are you certainly uh, proven to be very promising this campaign, um, showing great progression, um, plenty of merit to her last start victory on the Kensington track, uh, just her third start there and um, the form out of that's looked to be uh, very strong. So uh, she's stepping up in grade here once again, uh, but I do feel she's ready to take that next step. She's uh, nice and fit at this part of her preparation. Uh, she's had the experience at the track here. I uh, feel she's in uh, really good order um, and expected to be very competitive for us once again. Moving to Victoria, the stable has a number of runners at the Valley, including Omni Man in the listed Carleon Stakes over a thousand metres. This five-year-old gelding by I'm Invincible has been nothing short of consistent this preparation with three wins and a second from his last four starts. Are you happy with the work he's put in ahead of this step up in grade? As a step up once again for, for Omni Man uh, in the stakes company here, um, remaining at his ideal distance. Uh, he's had his first look around Mooney Valley there last, last start. I thought he ran very well. Uh, a little bit of luck. He, he certainly would have gone close. Um, feel it would be better for that run. Um, the condition suit here once again, uh, if he gets the right run in the race and a little bit of luck, I uh, certainly feel he's able to be uh, able to be capable and very competitive once again. 
The years will kick off his campaign in the three-year-old Colts and Geldings plate over 1,200 metres. This three-year-old Gelding by time test looks to have settled into life at our Flemington stable with ease and is ticking along nicely. What type of race are you expecting him to run? The year is resuming for us um, and what looks to be a lovely race for him to, to return in. Um, he's been based at our Flemington stable for most of the campaign, so he's had plenty of opportunity to settle in down there uh, and be used to the Melbourne way of going. Uh, he looked particularly sharp in his latest uh, jump out there, uh, so I expect him to be nice and forward for his first up run. Uh, whilst the 1200 metres may be short of his best, uh, I do feel he's got the class to get him through uh, the form through his uh, last preparation and, and most recent campaign has certainly proven to be very strong. So I uh, really expect him to see a nice forward showing from him first up. Oz Empress will make her Victorian debut in the three year old Phillies plate over 1200 metres with Jordan Childs in the saddle. She looks fit and ready to go. Is 1,200 metres optimum starting point for her? Oz Empress looks to have settled in really well to uh, to Melbourne. She's had a couple of nice uh, couple of nice gallops in Melbourne, including a, a good look around Mooney Valley on Tuesday morning, where I thought she looked particularly sharp in her work. Uh, she's had a couple of nice trials in Sydney prior to prior to heading down to Melbourne, so she certainly looks fit and ready for the first up run. Uh, 1,200 metres should be a, a nice starting point for her. Uh, she's had a look around the track, so I'd expect that to be um, certainly be to, to her liking for her racing pattern, but uh, a nice filly that certainly has plenty of upside. Last start winner by Ferente, Ambassadorial, will look to keep his winning streak intact in the three-year-old handicap over 1,500 metres. Do you think he can be competitive on Saturday over this slightly longer trip? I think we're going to continue to see Ambassadorial improves as he gets over further. Uh, it was a very good win last start, plenty of merit to that. Uh, and he only looks to have improved since then, um, particularly in his, uh, in his work and his condition um, and his overall demeanour. And he's really going forward in, in the right manner. It's sort of switched him on. So um, looks to be nice conditions for him Saturday. Uh, I do feel he'll continue to get over further later in the campaign, but uh, this looks to be a nice natural stepping stone for him. Tasmanian Guineas winner Russian Ronnie will return to the races on Saturday in the benchmark 84 handicap over 1,200 metres. How has he returned from his recent spell? I'm really looking forward to seeing Russian Ronnie return to the races. Um, first up, this preparation off a nice layoff. Uh, the 1,200 metres may ultimately be short of his best uh, for a horse that has been effective out to the 1,600 metres. Uh, he has trialled up nicely behind some classy horses. Uh, picks a nice race to resume in. Uh, I am expecting nice improvement off the back of this run uh, and continue to see that improvement throughout the campaign, uh, particularly as he gets over that little bit further.